Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Cousins. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set your air control and gravity in blueprints. So, if you want your character to have lots of air control, or little air control, or lots of gravity and little gravity, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set the default settings for those so that your character can, by default, have a lot of gravity or a little gravity. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can change those settings as the game is already running. For example, if you want it to be like, when the player presses a button, there is, you know, lots of air control, and when they press another button, there's not much, and then another button makes high gravity, another button makes low gravity. So, let's get into that. So, here I am in my project, so, I'm just, I have the third person character, default character, as you guys see here. But if you were to make a character from scratch or use one of the other characters, it actually works the same way because these are settings that all the characters have by default that you can set. Um, the air control, the, the gravity, and there's, some other, there's a bunch of other settings you can set just the same way as I'm going to set these guys. So you'll see in just a moment. So get to your character. Mine is in here because it's the default third person one. And... Uh, go to this bottom one right here and you'll see all these settings on the right air control so you can set this to whatever you want if you set it to one it means that the player has just as much control of where they're going when they're in the air as when they're on land and there's a bunch of other things you can set and then gravity is here somewhere. I'm just going to search for it. A gravity scale right here. But you can set any of these in blueprints. Um, so I'm going to show you how now. So let's say we want to do this in a widget. So if you actually, it's easier, it's easiest if you want to do this in your player. But I'm going to show you how to do it in a widget. And then you can do it in the player a very similar way. You just need to do one thing, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to create a widget, which I'm just going to have a button that says like high gravity, low gravity, and then um, high, high air control, low air control. So we'll call this UI. Open it up. And I'm just going to make four buttons. So uh, I'm not going to like make it look good or anything. I'm just going to, you know, place buttons in random spots. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so the top ref button will be um, air control. I mean, uh, high gravity. This one will be low gravity. This one will be high uh, air control, low air control. Okay, so high gravity right here. So when this button is pressed, we want to set it to high gravity. So the following code is how you set high gravity. So we're going to cast to your player. So third. And this is why it's easier if you do it in the third person character. You don't have to do this step. But everything else will be the same. So uh, as third person character, we're going to get player or get character. Uh, maybe you have to uncheck this. Yeah, okay. Get character movement. This one right here. And then we want to go from here. Again, you want to uncheck this box and set uh, air control. Or actually, no, this one's gravity. Sorry about that. But it's the same for gravity, air control, any of those. Set gravity scale. And this button is high gravity, so for high gravity, we'll set this to 1. Uh, and then we're going to do another button that's low gravity, the one below it. So for this one, it's literally the same as this one, pretty much. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. The only difference is... Uh, we're going to make this low gravity, so I'll set this to point 0.1. Alright, so then the next one is high air control, right here. So to do high air control, I'll set this to 1. And this is basically the same thing as before again. The only difference is instead of 
getting the, setting the you know uh, gravity scale we're setting air control and again we have to have this box right here unchecked and this one is high air control so we'll set this to one and the next one will be low air control so we'll set this to point one and yeah again it's the same thing as this whoops visual studios opening that's uh, okay we're not going to be using that this is just a blueprint tutorial all right so now when we press play okay actually we need to make the widget show so open up your level blueprint like that and we're gonna do event begin play just like this we're gonna create widget oops add to viewport compile and save this now when we go back we have our four buttons so as you can see right now we're just our normal character right and we press this button here this one was high gravity I th or, uh, is this air control uh, I believe it's high gravity okay this one low gravity yep and then if I went back and press this one we're back to high gravity so we fall quickly this one high air control so we have lots of control in the air as you can see we can do like u-turns in the air you know like if we leap off this we can go back and if we press this we cannot if we press this we have uh, normal gravity and this one low gravity so that's how you can just change um, some player uh, controls within blueprints you can do that again as I said with any of these controls over here you do it the same way you just do set and then whatever this guy is here whatever this is so yeah and you have to get the player movement cast to the player so that you can do the get player movement node and um, that's basically all again these will be all the default values right here so if you want just one value for the whole game you could just set it here and you're good all right guys make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye